If you have a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, well, I have great news. I just received now uh, the update for Android 10. As you see here, I have um, this file, this update size, uh, almost two gigabytes. Um, let's see here, more info. Yes, you will have the UI 2 and Android 10. So let's install it and let's see it on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Just before Christmas, Samsung decided to be the center. So we will have the latest Android on our Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, as far as I know, in this moment, 100%. Also, if you have a Galaxy 10 Plus, for example, you will have the same Android 10 available to, to install it on your device. Now we have Android 10 on our Galaxy Note 10 Plus and this is crazy. Uh, I believe um, Samsung gets faster and faster each year and uh, I like it. So these are the new settings. I believe we have some new icons and anyway we have some new features here and vi visual changes. We have for example um, I believe this new line privacy, I believe it wasn't there. I don't know. I'm not sure anyway. So the biggest change is not about the sound, but the back system. I love it. This is the new back system, the new swipe system. Like this anywhere on the screen, you can apply the back system. Let me show you. If we go here in display, and navigation bar we have these settings the older settings with navigations button you already know them um, again the older uh, system is this swipe from the bottom you already know this it's available on android 9 but now we have this new feature here more options we press on them and we have this new gestures as you see here the animations we have the entire base here for uh, home so if we do like this we go in home screen so if you swipe from the base anywhere from this area now you will go into home screen uh, you don't have the back here the multitasking here and home here uh, the entire base of your screen uh, it's for home the back it's all this area and this area now it's very fast and convenient because with the older system this one if I would like to go back I would have to do something like this and it's uncomfortable so I have to use two hands sometimes to hold the phone uh, very good I believe for example if you are traveling with a train you have to hold it well and to apply back now you can do this or this this is it it's very fast this uh, this new system and don't forget you have the back system on all this area left area and right area not only here at the base because this animation will show you that you have the back only here no the back is available here here anywhere on that area and you have some settings for this new swipe system you can allow back gestures on keyboard and if the back system is too fast for example you are holding a phone and put your finger here and it's going back you can uh, lower the sensitivity for the back uh, gesture it's a uh, it's very important this uh, this uh, feature here so let's go back and another great tip if i may call it in this way if you apply for back but you don't want to go back it's a mistake for example don't release your finger and put it back and you won't apply the back gesture because like this it's back but if i do like this and hold the finger on the screen you see this uh, you see this um, icon here for back you have a time 
to to change your mind basically i don't want to go back okay finger back <laughs> like this and i want to go back like this back back from anywhere here on the left and on the right super cool okay some uh, new other changes um we have not here okay i'm still used with the back system here okay let me show you the multitasking system if we are here just swipe like this and hold your finger for a fraction of a second this is the new way to access your multitasking system so from any point of the base screen just uh, just swipe it like this and hold it for one second like this it's very fast anyway like this it's very fast so if we are in an app just like this and we can access the multitasking system very interesting like this from my first experience with android 10 i can say this everything it's faster in it and it's faster than on uh, than on uh, android 9 anyway i um, i'm speaking uh, about this multitasking system and i don't have the animations off so some other changes we have here in digital well-being we have uh, a new look new info you can do all kind of stuff and you have a new parental control so if you need it okay let's go back device care also it's changed we have a new look here optimizing okay okay what about the battery everything it's different here new design new graphics we have um, the settings here for charging fast charging ca fast cable charging and wireless you can uh, go on off with them if you don't use them okay what else general management okay software update developer options if you need them go back as you see here everything is faster with this back uh, for me this is the uh, the main uh, update the most important update from this uh, android 10 we have the the new one ui uh, version 2.0 android 10 okay this is it you can even play with this I don't know if uh, you can do something else if you have an Easter egg or not okay back what about the camera well the camera has a new look um, we have new fonts new icons we have a faster way to go uh, to switch these uh, modes because I feel them faster than on uh, Android 9 definitely okay here we have some uh, new settings some icons shortcuts Bixby vision AR emoji I don't want AR emoji you can edit them and you can drag them here okay back back settings camera settings I believe they are the same I don't think you you have something new here okay let's go back and back Anyway, this is the new Android 10 on uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos model and uh, this is my first contact with it. I will advise you to install it. It's a, it's a better operating system, definitely, and you have a lot of new features. 
back, back. I love this new back uh, uh, swiping system. Okay. Ah, let me show you this. Okay. We have these icons here. If we press them like this, we have a new look and you can use uh, these features, app info, open in split screen view, in pop-up view, change the aspect uh, ratio of your application. For example, if you have an application that is not starting in full screen, you can change it from here like this. Um, no, I don't want to change it now. Okay. Lock this app and pin this app, these new features. Open in split screen. You can choose from here or you can choose from your home screen um, or app screen. Like this. This is it.